I am Dalek Winston, and this is Scarrow Today. All the news you are permitted to know, brought to you by the DDC. Flying boxes, do they really exist? Later in the show we talk to a mercury plant worker who claims he was abducted by Thals from another world. But first, a special live report from Central Fabrication. Over to you, Dalek Cassavale. I am Dalek Cassavale, reporting from the end of Central Production's new Alpha assembly line where the first mass-produced advanced function travel machines are already rolling off the line. Already being referred to as the Imperial Travel Machine, this first batch is being supplied to the Imperial Legion, which is about to undertake its first off-world mission for over 150 years. A minor police action to quell dissident elements. Have you organized transport for your attack force, turd? Yes, Emperor, I have requisitioned the necessary battle sources and troop transports from the Home Fleet Reserve. They are being prepared even as we speak. I have codenamed the mission Operation Hydroponic Garden. Xenol's thaw blighted mob of renegades will be no match for the superb skill and discipline of my Imperial Legion. It is my Imperial Legion, and you had better be right, turd, for you will not underestimate Xeno and live. Having said that, though, the Mark III Exterminator is ideal against organic targets. At close range, of course. I am not listening. Obsessed, tell him I am not listening. Grexo, he says he is not listening. When we finish here, can I drive the transporter back? But, an electron shredder, soft targets, hard targets, it makes no difference. They just evaporate. You get a similar effect to the proton inverter. Why are you telling me this, Grexel? Seriously, I am not even listening. It is my turn. You two are always driving the transporter, so it must be my turn now, right? This one time, an log left Science Dalek, we, we have finished placing all the targets. I am still not listening, Grexel. Hmm? Grexel? Oh, yes. I'm well done. You had better get clear now. That powerful graph puts me in mind of a multi-phasic plasma cannon. We had some of those at the Siege of Plu. What makes you think the Chief Science Dalek wants to listen to that? Can I drive the transporter to the garage now? We do not need it again, do we? Zaragallon Control, Emperor Zeno Shuffle and 3rd Army Vanguard now on final approach for landing. What is happening down there on Zolo? Is the fortress under attack? Apparently it is Yutrell. According to Control, he is testing some new weapons. That was pretty impressive, Section Leader. Looked like a photon lens. You have a much higher cyclic rate of fire. Just tell him you are not listening, section leader. Excellent! 0.035% higher yield than I had calculated.
good to see you safely returned, Emperor. How is that Adam Disruptor working out? I recall when we laid waste to the Citadel of the Quadratic Kipper Hats on the Lurgeal Moon. Grizzle, I am not listening. Yitrell, I hear you have been testing the new heavy assault travel machine. Report your progress. Progress is excellent, General Emperor. My new Microtech systems consistently perform beyond specification, and my Itralic power generator has proven especially successful. I believe that this travel machine will totally revolutionize modern technological warfare. This travel machine is not electro-tagged. Who is the operator? A section leader we brought back from Scarrow. They did not issue him a name, so I have called him... Dalek Storm. His travel machine has the speed, the range, and the firepower of a combat hoverbout. It is also very shiny. Very good. Submit an electro text file detailing your progress. Section Leader Storm, I look forward to seeing you put the new travel machine through its paces. I exist to serve you, Emperor. On Zono, take General HMX to fabrication and see they issue him with the Model 6 travel machine. I am going to see to the billeting of the 3rd Army Troopers. You, General Service Daleks, if the Chief Science Dalek has no further need for you, return to your regular duties. You will find Zaragellan very pleasant, General. The Sun Primate is fiercely radioactive. Background radiation here in the desert zones is almost as high as in the ash fields of Skaro. Yitrell has upgraded your desk's data core, but it has not helped me sort out the site division's finances. In the end, I handed his ledgers over to the encryption department to see if they could make sense of it all. Yitrell seems to have been doing some sort of deal with the space pirates of Penzance, but I cannot tell if he was buying from them, selling to them, or running them. I will look into it. Has he made any progress on the new command center? Yes. He has taken over Chamber 93 on sub-level 4. He said only an idiot would build a command center in the tower because it was too exposed. I will go down and look at it later. First, I must catch up on what has been happening here while I was on Edrosia. I have passed the AE-35 unit through Auxiliary Circuit K-9271-413. stroke No, no, no! You are losing the diagonal hold now! Boost the gain on L5-38-3 stroke and switch PN-8139R72 to dual phase operation. Ah, here is the Emperor now. Just go tell that lot they are probably getting feedback from the AE-35 via the PN-8139R55. What do you think, Xenon? Is it not magnificent? Very nice, but I do not see an access point. It needs to be easy to get in and out of as I will still want to use my travel machine at times. Fear not, there is no access point. You enter and leave using what I call the Itral Material Substance Through the Ether System. You are talking about a teleportation system. I recall you working on one. You said it could not be made to work. Well, certainly there were some seemingly insoluble problems back in the old days. Four months ago. But I made a breakthrough which led to the development of a fully working system. Let us go to my laboratory and I will explain on the way. The theory was incredibly complex. It took me most of the morning to work it out. I used different colors of chalk, you know. 
Construction of the test system did not take long, and there seemed no reason why we should not meet with anything less than total success. And in fact, it did work. The test dummies were transmitted through the ether to the receiver. However, they lost all molecular cohesion. They rematerialized as nothing but fine dust. That is when I reported to you that the system could not be made to work. But while you were away on Scarrow, I made a fresh breakthrough. I still had some test dummies left. It seemed a shame to waste them, so I ran a further series of tests. During one of those tests, a desert insect entered the transmission chamber just as we began the teleport sequence. The dummy was reduced to dust as usual, but the insect survived the teleport intact and apparently unharmed. I realized there must be some fundamental difference between living and non-living matter that allowed the insect to survive the teleportation process with its molecular structure intact. The solution proved to be more philosophical than scientific. It would seem that at some indefinable level living matter knows its own form. Even the simplest life forms teleport intact, while non-living subjects lose all integration because they cannot know what shape they should be. Teleporting insects is one thing, but has the system been tested on a Dalek? Certainly. Science Dalek Longbark volunteered to test the system and has been teleported six times without ill effect. How does it feel to be teleported? Unknown. Science Dalek Longbark was not able to describe the experience in meaningful terms. When I questioned him, all he could say was that it tastes like chicken. I do not understand. What does it mean? Unknown. I suspect that the sensations involved are so utterly alien that we Daleks do not possess the concepts necessary to describe them. If you wish to question Longbach about it, he is just down the hall in Laboratory 3. He has volunteered to test my new sonar vision system. There is no need. How long will it take you to install the Yttrell material substance transmission through the ether system apparatus in this travel machine? It is already installed. I had the mechanism built into your travel machine when it was originally constructed. It just needs an updated firmware chip installing in order for it to work. Here is one I prepared earlier. This will not take long. Just turn around, Xenol. Yitrell, tell me about the space pirates. Pirates? You mean the Penzantians? They are useful. Many races have good reason to fear the Daleks. It often helps to work through intermediaries less fearsome than ourselves. We can benefit more from cooperating with other races rather than simply picking what we can from the ruins. Using pirates as go-betweens has allowed me to deal profitably with races who would never trust a Dalek. But can you trust the Penzantians? They are pirates after all. A foolish question, Xenol. I know where they live and they know that I know. The upgrade is complete. You should see a new command icon on your control console. I see it. The one marked where would you like to go today?
Yes, though it is currently only a closed circuit, which will take you to the command center and back to your travel machine. Give it a try. Everything is ready. And you are sure it is safe? Perfectly. Amazing. That was, it felt like. Longbark was right. It tastes like chicken. And that still does not make sense. It defies description. Oh, this is nice. Multi-tiered control console. Real snug leather upholstery. Ensuite sanitation facility. I think the minibar is a little excessive though. The performance of the Yitrail material substance transmission through the ether system meets my approval, as does the setup of the new command housing. For now though, I am concerned about your estimate that we have 48 days before the Golden Emperor could attack us. We have monitored broadcasts from Skaro, and they have already begun to mass produce their advanced travel machines. They are slow. According to my calculations, they should have been able to commence mass production two days ago. The transmission was broadcast two days ago. Then there is no cause for concern. My estimate remains accurate. But surely it will not take all that long to equip their soldiers and familiarize them with the new machines. True, but you forget, Xenol. Scarrow Sun is currently at the peak of its six-year sunspot cycle. Of course, the Aqualoquot storms, they must be raging even as we speak. There has been heavy precipitation across the Hatenkote Mountains. The runoff has caused the Lake of Mutations to burst its banks in a number of places. Large areas of swampland have been flooded. The city has escaped the worst of the storms so far, but as always, the Oqualoquox is unpredictable. The most serious incident to be reported has been minor flooding on sublevels 1 through 3 of Area 9. The flooding in Area 9 was the result of faulty door seals. The maintenance team responsible for that area has been transferred to the sector's main digestive residue processing plants. As a result of their negligence, they are now quite literally in the That reminds me. How are turd preparations for the attack on the 1st Army Base progressing? He reports that they are still on schedule, but still, I cannot help wondering if turd is the best Dalek for this task. He cannot hope to match Xenor's combat experience. Turd and Xenor are both products of the Ancestral Project. If anyone can hope to match Xenor, it is turd. This encounter could prove my theory that genetic programming has a greater effect on a Dalek's abilities than any subsequent experience it may gain, and the unpredictability imparted by the recessive Kale gene should make it an impressive battle. Impressive indeed, Emperor, but if we assume the two generals to be equals, then the outcome of the battle will depend upon some as yet unknown random factor. What if the fates do not favour Turd? I have made it quite clear to General Tur that defeat is not an option. I assume you have placed operatives within the Imperial Legion. I have infiltrated one of my best agents into the General's personal staff. Good. I will leave the matter entirely to you, Garin, but understand. Whatever transpires on Zaragallon, General Tur is not to return to Skaro in defeat. I understand, Emperor. Set course for Zeragalen. We are the instrument of Imperial Justice. We will punish the renegades and great will be our glory.